And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northwest. Yeah, it's looking mostly cloudy out there right now. 17 degrees is where we're at. We did sit at 16 since 10 a.m. this morning, up or down a degree to 15, 16, 15, 16, right to just a few minutes ago when we popped up to 17. We did slide down to 10 degrees at 3 a.m. and that was our low. Our humidity is up to 55 percent and it will be rising higher than that. Winds are out of the west at 43 kilometers per hour. They have been a little brisker than that, occasionally gusty. Uh, so it's been an interesting day. We've had some spotty showers, but not enough to actually say that we've had precipitation make its way down to the ground. So uh, if you look at the uh, Environment Canada uh, airport reading, officially we've had no rain yet, but we've had, we have had spots on the windshield. Take a look at the numbers on the screen here. Uh, quite a bit of a cool down from what we saw at this time yesterday, and those cooler temperatures extend into BC as well. What we're watching is this developing low, and it's actually part and parcel of the system that moved through the Caribou area, creating heavy rainfall there. We had warnings posted yesterday. So as far as active weather, it's all going to be around this low pressure center and the rotation around that. And it's not a very fast moving center. And there, it is rather porous. There are breaks in it as well. So that's why we've seen some sunny breaks and then the cloud cover thickening up. And we're expecting to see that uh, over the next couple of days. So tomorrow and Friday, as the system tries to pull away, we will be seeing these breaks in the mix as well. But also, as we were talking about last night, when we saw precipitation on the, on the forecast horizon, we said that the heavier amounts were going to be to the north and the west. And you can see that reflected in these yellow areas where there's going to be some intense uh, downpours uh, in the mix as well. So the forecast is showing that we do have that precipitation moving across, rotation around the low. It's just going to kind of sit on its axis for the next uh, 48 hours. But by the time we get into Saturday, we've got a redeveloping area of high pressure that's already trying to push in from BC, and that'll be landing in southern Alberta. It'll move this out, and uh, we'll have a little more consistency as far as sunshine and better temperatures go as we get into Saturday. Saturday. Until then, though, we're going to have these reoccurring impulses of precipitation. 20 degrees in St. John's, but they've got rain showers on the way and cooler temperatures as that north-south cold front that caused showers in southern Ontario, southern Quebec earlier today and through the Maritimes exits that area and moves across into Atlantic Canada, bringing showers there. And then as we look at western Canada, we're seeing temperatures uh, uh, not as warm in some areas as they were yesterday, the exception being Winnipeg at 25 degrees, expecting some thunder shower activity there. Thunder showers expected for the western edge of Saskatchewan, across the south, some watches and warnings in play through Fort Quapel and areas like that. And then that extends into Manitoba, looking at thunder shower activity as well. We've got teen temperatures on the coast in Vancouver right now, 12 degrees in uh, Whitehorse and Yellowknife, looking at 18 degrees. And they're expecting to see uh, sunshine for the next couple of days. For East Kootenai, overnight low of 7 degrees, a daytime high tomorrow of 16. You're expecting a chance of showers tonight and that chance of showers reoccurring tomorrow when you have mostly cloudy skies. Crow's Nest Pass, 7 tonight, windy conditions, chance of showers tomorrow. Sun and cloud mix, a uh, few of those breaks and then showers as well, 16. Medicine Hat, that chance of thunder shower activity tonight, windy conditions, 11 for a low and 20 degrees tomorrow with a chance of showers and sun and cloud. And Lethbridge, you saw we have a low of 10 and then we're up to uh, 19 degrees, the expected high tomorrow. Some showers in the mix, some sunny breaks in the mix. So you can see that, that very Variable condition situation continues right into Friday. Saturday's the target day for sunshine, and then it looks like a whole bunch of rain on Sunday. That's a 30% chance of showers as we head into Sunday, and Monday back into sunshine. Now we've got all the winners from the Zest for Your Nest contest. Thanks for entering at all of our sponsor participants, and we'll be doing it again next year. But we are going to be showing you who the winners were and uh, what their prizes were. Uh, we've got the screen coming up here in a moment, I think, with all the winners. We're happy for all you people that entered and please do so again. Here they are coming up on the screen, our four winners from the contest and pretty nice prizes there. Thanks again for all the sponsors that participated in this and as I said, we'll do it again next year. So that's it for me everyone. Have a good evening.